welcome to Pick Your Poison. Today's toxin, radiation. This one's tricky, but luckily there are only a few different ways you can contract it. Radiation comes from the ionization of atomic particles, whether by nature, the sun, or by man. Basically, the collision of different particles, gross understatement, that form one or more nuclei. So how do you get it? You receive an acute dose, which is really just science talk for you were exposed to a lot of radiation fast. You're either a global thermonuclear warfare survivor, an astronaut who left home without his radiation shield, or a cancer patient that overdosed on your therapy treatments. That's the ironic part. Radiation can cause cancer, but it's also the treatment for cancer patients, which makes no sense unless you think of it like a Bloody Mary for your hangover. So you have radiation poisoning. What happens next? Dizziness, nausea, loss of consciousness, headaches, fatigue, and skin reddening. Hangover, right? Except this hangover lasts until you're dead, which in small doses is about two to four weeks, and in large doses, it's just enough time to text your mom goodbye between the fits of uncontrollable vomiting. And this time, all the alka seltzer in the world won't do a damn thing. So there you have it. If you had to be infected by a poison, would you pick radiation, or would you like to give anthrax a try? Click here to see the pros and cons of choosing radiation, or click here to learn about anthrax poisoning. And as always, subscribe for more videos, and if you have a poison you want to hear about, ask me in the comments.